Hello everyone, uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, place value ordering and rounding. Uh, so without uh, wasting time, let us begin. Understanding decimals. Okay, so here we have some few notes here. But uh, let us skip all this and let us try to uh, work out some questions. Okay, uh, this is the work the example. It says that the diagram shows a parcel uh, that weighs that weighs 3.465 kilograms. Write down the value. Write down the value of each of the digits in the number. So you have 3.465. Now we want to write the the value of each digit in the number. Okay, so the number is 3.465. Now we want to write the value of each digit. Okay, so you find that uh, 3, 3 has a value of 3 units or 3 ones. You can write that. Oh, Alright, so 4 has a value of 4 tenths. Why? Because this is ones, this is tens, this is hundreds, and this is thousands. Okay? So four has a place value of four tenths, and six has a value of uh, six hundredths, and five has a value of five thousandths. So this three has a value of three ones or three units four has a place value i mean four has a value of four tenths six has a value of six hundredths and five has a value of five thousands right so here we go uh question number two write down the value of the range digit in each of these numbers okay so on the on the worksheets you may notice that uh, there is no red color so you may use uh, the concept of underlining so the red digit in part a the red digit is six so you can underline digit six underline that and in b the red digit is three and here the red digit is one you see so let us write the value of the red digits. Okay, so let us start with A. 6 has a value of... 6 has a value of... We have 1s, we have 10s. So 6 has a place value of 60. Uh, we have 1s, 10. So we write 6, 10s. Okay, so A is done. Okay, so B, 3 has... A value of let us see value of three so we have ones we have tens okay so three is a place value of this is ones this tens so we say three tens okay and what is the value of one here this is ones this is tens this is hundreds and this is thousands so we say one thousands thousands see that the development once tens hundreds thousands okay so that those are answers then let us move on we have the next page Next page is here. Okay, Sham has a parcel that weighs four kilograms. Okay, we have four kilograms and five hundredths of a kilogram. Five hundredths of a kilogram. So five hundredths, you write it like this. Five hundredths. No, that is not five. There it is. This is five hundred you write five over one 
hundred of a kilogram of a kilogram of kg. So this will be five over one hundred times a kilogram. So this will be equal to five over one hundred kilogram. Okay. Now, what is the answer? So what do we do over here? You do four kilogram, and means plus five hundred kilogram. So when you add this, this is same as four kilogram plus. Change this one into a decimal. Five over one hundred. We have two zeros, so count two numbers. One, two. So this will be equal to 0 0.05. Okay, so 0 0.05 program. When you add that 4 plus 0 0.05 kilogram, so this will give you 4.05. So 4.05 program. This is the answer. Write the weight of Shams parcel as a decimal so that the answer. Now let us see another concept, multiplying and dividing by 10. Multiplying and dividing by 10. So let us start this number. Let's start with A. Uh, work out the answer to each of the following. You have 45 times 100. What you do, you ignore the zeros. Then you do 45 times 1. The answer is 45. Then put these two zeros next to each other. This is the answer. How about this one? This is 3.79 times 10. Ignore the decimal point. Ignore the decimal point. Just do 379 times 1. 379 times 1, you get 379. Then you put this zero next here. Then you count how many, two, uh, how many decimal places are here. We have two decimal places, one, two. So you count two numbers, uh, one, two. Then you put a decimal point here. So the answer is 37.9. Why? Because we cancel that zero. Okay, that's the final answer. Uh, work out the answer to each of the following. This is division. 32 divided by 1,000. This is A. Now, how do we do this? You write this as a fraction, 32 over 1,000. Then you have three. Uh, you have three zeros, one, two, three. So you count three numbers from your right hand side, one, two, three. So the answer will be uh, the answer will be 0 0.032. See that? Then you go to B. You have 42, I mean 47.96 divided by 10. Okay. Uh, first, you just move one decimal. Uh, you just one. Uh, you just move one decimal place from here. You move one decimal place. So the answer will be 4.796. That's the answer. Okay. Next is. Uh, next page, this one. Okay. We are still moving on with multiplication. I should repeat this. What we do, uh, without using a calculator, ignore the decimal point. Read it. This will be 65. Multiplied by, ignore the zeros. 65 multiplied by 1. The answer is 65. Okay. Now, you do... Because it is multiplication, you just put these three zeros next to each other. Then count how many decimal places are here. We have one decimal place, so count one number from the right hand side. So you count one number and you keep a decimal point here. Cut this zero, so the answer is 6500 is the answer. So this is part E. Uh, then let us move on with part F. But F is ignore the decimal point. Just do 389 multiplied by 1. That will be 389. 
then take these zeros one uh, one two three one two three put them here to the count how many decimal places are here we have one two three four so count four numbers one two three four so the answer will be 38.9 zero 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 cut those you get 38.9 Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So you get the eight point nine. Then this one here, uh, seven thousand, uh, seven hundred divided by ten. Right, that is a fraction. And cut this zero, cut this zero. The answer is seventy. See that? How about this? This four point two two divided by ten. What we do? You move that decimal point only one step and the answer will be 0 0.422 that will be the answer see that okay 620 620 let me put some borders 620 divided by 100 divided by 100, cut this zero, cut this zero, the answer remains 62 over 10. Now count one number from the right, put a decimal point over here, the answer will be 6.2. 6.2 is the answer. 43 divided by 100, put that as a fraction. Uh, you have two zeros here, so count two numbers, one, two, and the answer will be 0 0.43. See that? 420 divided by 1,000. What we do? Cut this zero, cut this zero. You remain with 42 over 100. You have two zeros over here. So count two numbers from your right. One, two. The answer will be 0 0.42. All right, you have eight. 0.1 divided by 1,000. Okay, so you have to move this decimal point to the left. How many steps? One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three. So the answer will be uh, zero point. Okay, let me check. Zero point zero. Zero eight one. Let me check. One two three. Uh, correct. <laughs> yes, this will be the answer. And you can check that using a calculator. Okay, you can check this using a calculator and do eight point one divide by one thousand. You see that? 0 0.081. Is that the answer? Which of which of 10, 100, or 1,000 goes in a box to make the statement correct? Here you just check uh, 3.8 times which number here equals to 38. Okay, there are two ways you can do this. It is either you can put a letter here, like X, and then you do 3.8 times the x is 3.8x that equals to 38. Okay, this will be equal to 38. Now to find the value of x, you have to divide by 3.8, divide by 3.8. This will cancel. X will be equal to. Now 38 divide by 3. Point, divide by 3.8 x equals to 38 divided by 3.8 now there are two ways you can move from here you can either use a calculator or just use it uh, do it mentally so take out the decimal point by multiplying by 10 here multiply by 10 here so x will be equal to 38 times 10 is 380 3.8 times 10 is 38 now 380 divided by 38 this the answer will be equal to 10. Okay, so the missing number over here is you are going to multiply by 10. Okay. Uh, part B. 
but b you can do the same thing 0 0.02 times unknown keep with uh, maybe a letter y and then you do 0 0.02 times y will be 0 0.002 y this equals to 0 0.02 now I'm looking for how much y is, so I have to divide by 0 0.002, divide by 0 0.002. Cancel that, y will be equal to 0 0.02, divide by 0 0.002. Now to find the value, I mean to work out this, you can do it mentally or use a calculator, but let us do it mentally. You have two decimal places in the numerator. You have one, two, three decimal places in the denominator. What we do, you multiply by 1,000 at the bottom and at the top. So y will be equal to 0 0.02 times 1,000. That you can do, this will be 0, 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And this will be 0, 0, 0, 2. One, two, three. Count the decimal places. We have one, two. Cancel these two zeros and cancel this. Uh, you get uh, you get twenty. And this uh, we have one, two, three. One, two, three. Cancel that. Cancel that. So you have twenty divided by two. The answer is ten. Okay. So you are going to multiply by ten here. By ten. Okay, lastly, put this as unknown like M, so this will be 0 0.05. This will be 0 0.05 multiplied by M, the answer is 0 0.05 M equals to 50. To find the value of M, you need to divide by 0 0.05, divide by 0 0.05. This cancel, you get M equals to. Uh, 50 divided by 0 0.05. Now to find out, to work out this, you can use a calculator or you can do it mentally. So we we'll have two decimal places, so multiply by 100 over here, multiply by 100 over here. So M equals to 50 times 100 is 50, 1, 2, 3. I mean it's 50, 1, 2. And you have 0, 0, 5, 1, 2. Two decimal places over here. You cancel that. So 5,000 divided by 5, the answer is M equals to uh, 1,000. You see that? So M is 1,000. So you write here 1,000. So you can pause the video and do the working. Okay, another one is 56 divided by unknown, so you can put like the unknown is T, and then proceed. This will be 56 divided by T. You write 56 as a fraction. 56 over T equals to 0 0.056. See that? Okay, now, this is a fraction, so keep this over 1, then cross multiply. This will be t times 0 0.056. This will be 0 0.056t equals to 56 times 1. This equals to 56. To find the value of t, you need to divide by 0 0.056. Divide by 0 0.056. Okay? Now this will cancel and you remain with T, which you are looking for. 56 divide 56 divide by 0 0.056. You can use a calculator or do it mentally. We have two decimal, we have one, two, three decimal places, so multiply by 1,000 at the top, multiply by 1,000 at the bottom. This will be T equals to 56 times 1,000. This will be 56 thousand over this will be zero zero five six one two three you have three decimal places one two three cancel these three zeros cancel the two zeros t will be equal to five six 
56. When you simplify that, you get T equals to 1000. Okay. So this you need to divide by 1000. 1000. Okay. Uh, how about this one? You can put like 0 0.2 divide by unknown, keep like W, then move on. So it will be 0 0.2 as a fraction over W equals to 0 0.002. Okay, this is a fraction, so keep this over 1 and then cross multiply. So this will be 0 0.002 W equals to 0 0.2 times 1 is 0 0.2. To find the value of W, you need to divide by 0 0.002, divide by 0 0.002, this will cancel, W equals to, you can do it mentally, 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.02, or you can use a calculator, uh, 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.002. See that, that's it's 100. So the answer is 100. So here the missing number is 100. 100. Okay, next and last, this will be 0 0.8 divided by unknown. Let us treat it as a letter. Then do 0 0.8 divided by P equals to 0 0.08. Put this one over one and then cross multiply. So this will be P times 0 0.08 it will be 0 0.08 p equals to 0 0.8 to find the value of p you need to divide by 0 0.08 divide by 0 0.08 cancel that you can use a calculator to do that uh, 0 0.8 divide by 0 0.08 so the answer is 10 so the missing number over here is 10. It's 10. All right, so far so good. Uh, let us move on with the next page. Uh, the next page, same story. Complete this calculator by filling in the empty boxes. Okay. Uh, like as I said, something you don't know keep a rate say uh, maybe rate r then you do 2.5 times r this would be 2.5 r equals to 250 so i'm looking for how much r is i need to divide by 2.5 divide by 2.5 r equals to 250 over 2.5 now you can do this mentally or use a calculator but let's do it mentally is one decimal place here, so times 10 over here, times 10 over here. So R will be equal to 250 times 10 is 250, 0, and 2.5 2 times 10 is 25. So cut that, cut that, the answer will be 100. So here you need to multiply by 100 to get 250. All right. Uh, but B, you put this, uh, refer this as unknown, something you don't know, put a rate. So I can say maybe let this one be Y. So this will be 3.2 divided by Y. Set it as a fraction. This will be 3.2 over Y equals to 0 0.0032. Okay, put this over 1 and then cross multiply. This will be 0 0.02, 0 0.032 times y will be 0 0.0032y. That equals to 3.2. 3.2 times 1 is 3.2. Now, to find the value of y, you need to divide by 0 0.0032, divide by 0 0.0032. This will cancel. Now, y equals 2. You can take out the calculator and do 3. 2 divided by 0 0.0032. The answer would be 1,000. So 1,000 is what you are supposed to divide here. 
divided by 1000. All right, complete. Now, here, 0, 0 0.17, 0 0.17, will you divide by 10, or will you multiply by 10 to get 1.7? So here, what is missing is either multiplication or division. Now, let us try. First trial. Let us do first trial. Let us try multiplication. Okay. Or let us say, okay, let us try division. 0 0.17 divided by 10. Are we going to get 1.7? Let us see. So 0 0.17 divided by 10. 0 0.17 divided by 10. You can use a calculator to do that. 0 0.17 divided by 10. What is the answer? 0 0.017. Okay? 0 0.017. You see what is happening? 0 0.17 divided by 10, you move just one decimal place, and the answer will be 0 0.017. You see? 0.017. Something different from 1.7. So, the missing... Uh, automatically, if if division fails, if division fails, then the multiplication will will not fail. Okay, for sure. Let us try to check if we are correct. Let us check if multiplication will will hold over there. So this is 0 0.17 times 10. Let us see. When you multiply by 10. Ignore the decimal point, just put 0, 1, 7, and keep this 0 over here. And then count, you have three, uh, you have, you mean, I mean, you have two decimal places, so count two numbers. So this will be uh, 1, 2. So the answer will be 0, 1.7, 0. You can cut this 0, cut this 0, and the answer is 1.7, which is this one. So what is missing here is multiplication sign. Okay, you can pause the video and try to copy the notes. Otherwise, let us move on. The question says, Alex thinks of a number. Alex thinks of a number. Okay, let the number, let the number, let the number be, okay, any letter, for example, M, okay. Alex thinks of a number, so the number is M. He multiplies, the, uh, he multiplies his number by 10, so multiply this number by 10. And then he divides the answer by 100, and then divide this answer by 100. Okay. He then, he then multiplies this answer by 1,000. Okay. Put brackets. Then multiply that answer by 1,000. Okay. Multiply that answer by 1,000. And get a final answer, and get the final answer, 67. What number does Alex think of first? Okay, now we need to find the value of M. So we need to find the value of M. Okay. Now, how do we find the value of M? What we do, cut this zero and cut this zero, you see? In the brackets, you are going to remain with m over 10. Now, when you multiply, when you multiply by 1,000, okay, that will be 67. Now, this zero will cancel with this zero. So, what is going to remain is 100 times m. 100 times m equals to 67. Now, what is 100 times m? Let me continue here. 100 times M is 100 M. That equals to 67. Now I'm looking for how much M is. I need to divide by 100. I need to divide by 100. See that? So M will be equal to 67 divided by 100. You count, you have two zeros over here. You count two numbers from your right. So one, two. So the answer will be 0 0.67. So now, what number does Alex think of? So Alex 
thinks of thinks of 0 0.67 final answer alex thinks of 0 0.67 okay let us see uh, how do we multiply and divide by 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 okay then what do we do over here multiplying and dividing by 0 0.1 and 0 0.01 Okay, you can pass through this story and see how that happens. You can pause the video and try to read uh, what we do when we multiply the number by 0 0.1. Maybe quickly, uh, the decimal number 0 0.1 as a fraction is equal to 1 over 10, and the decimal number 0 0.01 is the same as 1 over 100. Now, since 0 0.1 is the same as 1 over 10 and 0 0.01 is the same as 1 over 100 so when you multiply when you multiply by 0 0.1 it is it has the same effect as when you are dividing the number by 10 so when you multiply a number by 0 0.1 automatically it has the same effect as when you divide by 10 multiplying a number by 0 0.01 is the same as dividing that number by 100. Dividing a number, dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same as multiplying that number by 10. And dividing a number, dividing a number by 0 0.01 has the same effect as multiplying the number by 100. Okay, now let us see the examples. Let us see the examples. All right. The examples are as follows. Um, okay, the examples are as follows. Let us start with example A. Okay, put the borders, put the borders, put the borders. Okay, work out the answer to each of these. 32 multiplied by 0 0.1. Remember what we said? 0 0.1 as a fraction is 1 over 10. So when you multiply a number by 0 0.1, is the same as, is the same as, taking that number, you divide by 10. Take that number, which is 32, divide by 10. Now you have one zero, so you'll be counting one number from your right. So the answer is 3.2. So multiplying a number by 0 0.1 is the same as dividing that number by 10. Now, multiplying the number 4.2 by 0 0.01, 0 0.01 is the same as 1 over 100 as a fraction. So can you notice that when you are multiplying a number, when you are multiplying a number by 0 0.01 is the same as taking that number which is 4.2 then divide by 100 can you see that okay now to, div to divide a number by hundreds what we do uh, we count 100 has two zeros one two so you count two numbers so you have to move this decimal point two steps so one then two so the answer here will be the answer here will be 0 0.042. Can you see that? 0 0.042. Or you can try your method and see that the answer will be 0 0.042. Okay, now let us see. Uh, dividing, dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same way as multiplying that number by 10. Let us see. 6 divided by 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is a fraction in the same way as 1 over 10. Okay, but remember what we told you? In primary, we say that uh, when you are dividing two fractions, you have to find the reciprocal of this 1 over 10. Find the reciprocal of that. So this will be 6 over 1 times 10 divided by 1. So can you notice that? Uh, do you notice that when dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same as multiplying that number by 10? Is what is exactly happening. 6 times 10 is 60. 1 times 1 is 1. So 6 divided by 1 is 60. 
So dividing a number, dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same as multiplying that number by, by 10. Okay, let us see this. Dividing a number by 0 0.01 is the same as multiplying that number by 100. Let us see. 4.156, this is our number. Now, when you divide that number by 0 0.01, write 0 0.01 as a fraction. So this will be 1 over 100. Okay. Now, can you notice something like reciprocal? So this will be 4.156 multiplied by 100 goes up, 1 goes down. So when you are multiplying, listen, when you are multiplying a number, when you multiply a number, sorry, when you divide a number by 0 0.01, that is the same as multiplying that number by 100. And this is what you can definitely see. So this number will be multiplied by 100. This will be to multiply a number by 100. Let me clarify this. To multiply a number by 100, you need to move this decimal two. You need to move decimal point uh, two steps ahead. Okay, so one, two. So the answer will be 415.6. Can you see that? All right. <laughs> You can pause the video and take the calculations, or you can use a calculator to do that. But otherwise, that's all. Uh, which symbol, which symbol will you put multiplication, or will you divide uh, in each of these? Okay, this was been discussing area. This was been discussed area. Uh, so what are we going to do? Let us try. Let us try multiplication. If multiplication fails, then division will automatically work. Okay, 6.7, try multiplication there, 0 0.1. Okay, how do we do this? We ignore the decimal point, and this becomes 67 times. We ignore the decimal point, and this becomes 67 times 1. So what is 67 times 1? The answer is 67. Now. How many decimal places do you have here? You have one decimal place, you have one decimal place. Total, you have two decimal places. Now count two numbers from, count two numbers from the right hand side. One, two numbers, so the answer is 0. Point, the answer is 0 0.67. Okay, now 0 0.67, but here it is 67. So automatically, multiplication is failed. So automatically, division will work. And you don't have to try. You just write automatically, division will work. So here, division will work. And I can prove it to you. This is 6.7 divided by 0 0.1. Remember what we discussed? Dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same as multiplying that number by 10. How? 6.7 divided by, keep this as a fraction, so this is 1 over 10. Do reciprocal, this comes up and this comes down. So this will be 6.7 multiplied by 10 over 1. So 6.7 times 10. 6.7 times 10, ignore that, so it will be 6.7, will be 670, and count one more, uh, count one decimal place from the right, one decimal place, the answer is 67.0, cut that, the answer will be 67, so division is correct. How about this one, 4.5, divide or multiply, gives you this answer, okay, let us try multiplication. If that fails, then division will work automatically. Okay, let us try multiplication. So 4.5 times 0 0.01. Let's see if we we'll get that. So what you do, ignore the decimal point. This number becomes 45. Ignore the decimal point. This number becomes 1. So 45 times 1 is 45. How many decimal places are here? One, two, three. 
one decimal place here, two decimal places here. So total three decimal places. So count three numbers from the right. One, two, three. So it will be zero point zero four five. You see this? This is the answer. So in the, so in this case, multiplication has worked out. How about 0 0.9 times 0 0.1, try multiplication. So this will be uh, try multiplication and see 0 0.9 times 0 0.1. Ignore the decimal point and this becomes nine. Ignore the decimal point here, this becomes one. So nine times one is nine. How many decimal places? You have one decimal place here, you have another decimal place here, total two decimal places. So count two numbers. Okay, count two numbers, one, two numbers. So the answer will be 0 0.09. You see that? 0 0.09. Cool, yeah? Good. So, on, and this is the answer which we have got. Okay, so automatically here, multiplication is the correct choice. Okay, let us see this one. Okay, will you multiply, will you divide? Let us try multiplication first. If multiplication first, then automatically division will work. Okay, okay. This is 550 times 0 0.01. Okay, so ignore the decimal point here and do 550 multiplied by 1. 550 multiplied by 1, the answer is 550. Okay, now, okay, 550 times 0 0.01. Uh, okay, or let me use this method. Let me use the other method. Okay, sorry for that. Let me start afresh. 550, we are trying multiplication times. Uh, 0 0.01. We want to see if it will be equal to 5.5. .5. So what we do, uh, write this. Write this number as a fraction because we said multiplying a number by 0 0.01 is the same as dividing by 100. Let us see. 550 times 0 0.01. This is a fraction will be 1 over 100. Can you see that? So it means when you are multiplying a number by 0 0.01, it's the same as dividing that number by 100. Okay, let us do 550 divided by 100. What do we get? Cancel that, cancel that. So it's 55 over 10. What is 55 over 10? This is 10 has one, one zero, so do that. It's the same as 5.5. .5. So, this is correct. So, the sign which goes here is multiplication. How about this one here? You have 0 0.23. Try multiplication uh, times 0 0.1 and see if we are going to get 2.3. Okay, so what do we do? Take 0 0.23, multiply by 0 0.1, write that as a fraction. So, it will be 1 over 10. Now, this we have discussed that multiplying a number, I mean, multiplying a number by 0 0.1 is the same as dividing that number by 10. So take this number, divide by 10. So 0 0.23 divide by 10. Now, how do we divide this by 10? 10 has one zero. So move, count just one number. So the answer will be 0 0.23. 0, 2, 3. The answer, 0 0.023. If you compare with this, this 2.3 is different from 0 0.002. 0 0.023. So here multiplication is failing. So if multiplication fails, automatically division will work. Okay. And you don't have to check that because you have two signs on P multiplication division. So multiplication has failed. Division will work. Let us see. 0 0.23 divided by 0 0.1.
Now, dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same way as multiplying that number by 10. Let us see. 0 0.23 uh, divided by, keep this number as a fraction, so it will be 1 over 10. Keep this here over 10. Then do reciprocal. 10 comes up and 1 goes down. So 0 0.23 over 1 times 10 over 1. You see? So dividing a number by 0 0.1 is the same way as multiplying that number by 10. So this will be 0 0.23 times 10. 0 0.23 times 10 equals to, ignore the decimal point, just put the uh, digits next to each other and count how many, how many decimal places? 1, 2. Okay, so count two numbers, one, two. So the answer will be 2.3. See that? So the answer is 2.3, and this is what we have here. So division is working. Lastly, uh, the easiest sign we try is multiplication. So this will be 12 multiplied by uh, 0 0.01 and try to see if that answer will be equal to that. All right, so here, uh, remember the discussion? We said that uh, uh, multiplying a number, multiplying a number by 0 0.01 is the same as dividing that number by 100. So this will be 12 times 1 over 100. I'm trying to write 0 0.01 as a fraction. So uh, the idea is multiplying a number by 0 0.01 is the same as dividing that number by, by 100. So this will be uh, 12 divided by 100. See that? So to divide this, you need to count two numbers, you have two zeros here, count two numbers from the right hand side, so one, two, and the answer will be 0 0.12. Okay, now, since multiplication has failed automatically, division will work. So division will work, let us see. Uh, division, if division will work. So let us try division. So this will be uh, 12 divided by 0 0.01. So this will be the same as 12 divided by mm, 0 0.01. All right, so uh, let us try division over here. This will be 12 divided by, write this number as a fraction. It will be 1 over 100. And this 100 goes up, 1 goes down. This will be 12 times 100. So when you multiply that, this will be 12. Uh, 12 times 100, this will be 12, 0, 0. And this is what we have. So division is working. Anyway, uh, let us stop here for now. And bye-bye for now. And I will be back. Bye.